Hey y'all, so this video was originally a 15 second clip on Instagram, but some of you guys asked me to put it on my channel, so here it is. So this is what my brows look like a couple weeks ago. This left one over here was severely over tweezed. I used Hourglass Cosmetics Dark Brunette Pencil. I really, really love this pencil. Like even now that my brows have grown out, this pencil has a color and texture that makes my brows look so full and natural without it looking like there's hella product on it. And I'm pretty much creating my own shape with it, adding little amount of pressure at a time and gradually going a little bit harder once I have my bottom shape defined. I'm starting in the innermost part, not all the way to the inner corner, but a little further back and I'm just dragging a straight line out so that the arc is not so high. Once I have my arc fixed, which I am starting to accomplish right here, I am going to start at the top and do the same thing. I'm going a little bit higher than my hairline because I wanted my brows to be a little bit thicker. So when I clean up, I'm, it's obviously not going to look that jagged. But I'm going a little bit higher than my hairline so that I can create my own shape and make it as thick or as thin as I need to once I apply my concealer and um, clean it up. After each step, I always brush through my brows with a spoolie because that's going to get rid of some of the harshness and make sure the product is applied evenly. I'm going to do the same thing over here on the other brow, drawing out my shape with the pencil using light strokes first and then building on top of it to make sure I get the shape that I'm looking for without just going right in and applying heavy pressure to the pencil. Um, and once I have the shape defined, I'm going to look for any large gaps in my brows and kind of go over them with the pencil as well um, because the powder is a little bit lighter than this pencil, so I want this pencil to do some of the work for me. I'm brushing through the brows again, like I said, to get rid of some of the harshness and even out the product. And then I'm going in with a brow powder. This powder is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It is called Ebony and I use the darker side to fill in some of the sparse areas of my brows. I do want to let you guys know that you do not have to use these specific products. I will try to do a drugstore brow video very, very soon. So these are just the products I've been using as of lately. And this double-sided brow brush is by Lashes by Lena. I believe it's her precision tools. And it has a spoolie on one side and this flat angled brush on the other side. Now that I have the pencil and the brow product in place and I've brushed through my brows to make sure everything is even, I'm going to clean away. This brush is from MAC, it's their 195 brush and I use Studio Fix Concealer in NC50. It's the same color I use as my foundation because I don't really highlight my brow. And I'm going directly underneath my hairline where the product is. You don't want to follow your hairline, especially if your brows are jacked up like mine. <laughs> you kind of want to follow where you applied the pencil because that was the shape you created and you're just cleaning up the pencil with the brush and I'm just blending it in with my finger and I'm doing the same thing to the other side I like to tug on my skin just a little bit it's gonna make your line even straighter if you give it a little tug in whichever area you're working on now I'm going over the top like I said I'm going directly above the hairline and I'm creating a very Sharp line, if you want to make them look a little bit more natural, you can, you know, do a different approach as far as making hair like strokes, but I didn't really use a defined pencil, so my line is going to be super straight once I get these all nice and cleaned up. Um, you can also apply a wax first. I have pretty coarse, well, they're pretty coarse to me, brows, and they're kind of curly, so I don't like adding a wax first, even though that helps keep your brows in place because I don't like applying powder over the wax, so you can do it either way. This is just the method that works for me. So I'm cleaning the top of the other brow and then I'm going to use my finger to blend in the concealer as much as possible because I obviously don't have any foundation on my face as of yet. So I like to blend in my concealer by my brows in really well before I apply my foundation and do my whole highlighting routine. This brow wasn't quite clean enough for me at the top so I went in with more concealer and I flattened out the brush to give me an even crispier line. 
Once the concealer is blended in pretty well, I like to go over them one last time with the spoolie, but this time kind of staying out of the clean line so that I don't mess up any of the product and mess up my nice sharp line. There were a couple dark spots that I tried to brush away to make sure they looked nice and even. And I like to brush in the inner corners a little bit more than the rest of the brows so that this part is a little bit lighter and kind of gradiently goes into the dark. Now I'm using a brow gel. This is also by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's a lightweight gel. I'm brushing the hairs upwards. You don't want to go straight to the left or straight to the right. You want to keep them nice and full and brush them upwards. And this gel is going to keep my hairs in place all day. Now I am getting rid of some of the creaminess by using a brush. And voila! Of course I did my highlighting contour off camera. These lashes are called Noir Fairy. Some of my favorites from House of Lashes. And then I have a little bit of Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara at the bottom. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this brow video. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Up and stay tuned for a drugstore brow video that will be coming very soon as well. But until then, thank you guys for watching. Until next time, mwah!